Hello viewer, my name is Basit Ali. I am your instructor. I hope you are all doing well. Today I was thinking to start a new series on load balancer. So when I searched on the YouTube, there were so many videos on F5 load balancer. So I decided to start a rare one, which is Citrix Netscaler. And uh, why not Citrix Netscaler? I think that why not to choose Citrix Netscaler because it has very high level feature that other vendors not have. So I decided to start series on Citrix Netscaler ADC. It has very rare video on YouTube. So I decided to pick up this. It has many high level feature which represent it and which make it different from the other load balancer. So let's discuss our today agenda. First we discuss what is Netscaler ADC. What is this? Netscaler ADC. Second we discuss its features. Third we discuss its additions. And next we discuss how to choose the right additions. Because when you learn additions, when you learn, when you know addition, then you know to know right additions. And the fifth one is its platforms. And uh, our last is how to choose the right platforms. That's our today agenda. So let's dig into it. So what is Netscaler ADC? ADC stands for Application Delivery Controller. Citrix Netscaler is a very well known uh, a vendor in load balancer due to its high level features. So we starting it. What is Netscaler? It's a load balancer. It has many features but uh, uh, I choose some high level features because it has so many features to discuss. But I choose some high level features that we learn today first this feature is application availability <coughs> application availability in application availability we have layer 4 load balancing It provides server load balancing, mean traffic load because balance over the servers. For example, I have users, they want to access the website, mean google.com, and my websites are saved on these servers. So it will load balance and this website is saved on all these servers. So what let's scale do it's 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 a dual load balancing layer 4 load balancing like HTTP traffic from this to this to this is depend mean my first server has the capacity of 10 users and the second one is 10 user and third one is 10 user when the user came when it reached the limit mean 11 user is sent 10 to this and one rest of this to this so this is its first feature layer 4 load balancing it provide not only load balancing second feature in application availability is layer 7 content switching it also provides us layer 7 content switching let's discuss it mean uh, mean my company has two web pages uh, for example i have two web pages 
these are my servers and uh, what it do there is a load balancer and there is a users my some my, my, my company has two web pages one is home and the other one is contact page so here is slash home here is slash home here is slash home and uh, it also have slash contact and uh, it also have contact my company has two web pages and uh, save and some have both I mean, some servers have both like this and some have one like the middle one I mean Citrix do load balancing on the basis of content and did detect the web page and then load balance the traffic for example first user is coming for the home page it will uh, uh, for the user that are coming for the home page it will load balance to them all the traffic to these three servers and if the web page is, is a, if the traffic is coming for only for the contact purpose for my contact page then it will load balance the traffic only to two servers it will not send the traffic to a server which don't have the contact page so it will load balance the traffic on the basis of contact it detect the user traffic so it's called layer 7 contact switching and the third feature in application availability it's provide me the GSLB global server load balancing it's load balance the traffic on the basis of region for example the Europe user will transfer to Europe and the American user will transfer to America server mean we have clone of different servers for example I have a physical server in my region uh, Asia and uh, I have their clone in Europe and when the Europe user came it don't send to Asia it pause their traffic to the Europe so that's called GSLB and our third feature uh, so this is application availability now the uh, next one is application acceleration application acceleration we need provide client and server tcp optimization we need scale optimize the tcp traffic from client side and also from the server side both I mean first feature is client and server tcp optimization second one is I dis don't I'm not discussing that feature in detail, but we will discuss it in future. Second is cache cache redirection. I mean most of the website has its own cache. I mean Netscaler provide us the feature to host websites cache to the Netscaler device. I mean Netscaler itself hosts the cache rather than on hosting on a web server. So it's a beautiful feature of Netscaler. And uh, then we have application security. It also provides us the security. It provides us layer 7 DOS defense. I mean, it, it actually DDoS means. Uh, Someone sending a, a million requests to I mean to crack the network I means someone to hack the network or to breach that network I means someone is sending a millions of requests that's called those stack to check the network to crack the network in less than a minute or two I mean typically the load balancer can't handle the request and crack the network it stroke the network but when we have the when we have this feature it protect that it know that multiple fake requests are coming and it drop that connection 
that is layer 7 dose defense and next we have layer 7 rewrite and responder and responder layer 7 rewrite and responder mean our company url has changed mean my company url is uh, uh, google.com or xyz.com and i have changed that uh, and in future i have changed that to abc now what it do layer 7 did i and responder mean my user data data no data not know my new url they are sending their request to xyz.com it will rewrite that to abc and then respond to the user back so it's also a very beautiful user a beautiful features and it also provide me triple sports authorization authentication and accounting I mean for authentication purpose it also have the feature of web uh, Citrix, web app, firewall. I mean, it is a web application firewall where we can get firewall security services from an at scale load balancer. For example, our website uh, have credit card and payment gateway, so it help avoid attacks like SQL injection, etc. And we it also provide us a feature of n factor. N factor mean two way authentications, mean multi authentications. So it also provide us this. And it's also have we have the main feature is Citrix Gateway. Mean stateless RDP proxy. Mean it uh, also load balance the RDP traffic. For example, VDI traffic. It also have the feature of SSL VPN. So it has many features that we have that we can learn. So we have uh, basically then uh, when uh, we discuss the additions, we have three additions in ADC in that scalars. I mean basic addition. We have plus editions and we have premium editions there are three editions to check edition we need to know our requirements I mean I have uh, the date sheet of that scalar uh, let me open that I mean if you want to know learn more then we have to so this is our data sheet to learn about their features So it depends on license that uh, uh, it's a basic edition, premium plus edition, and premium edition. In these editions, there are some difference. That's how many your content users, the content connections I want, how many throughput I want, how many uh, ports I want, how many uh, my uh, number of uh, users have to send traffics, how many gigs traffic. So it depends on our need. So to, to check to choose the right edition, we need to know our right requirement. So let's discuss its platforms. So it comes with three platforms. First one is VPX. 
second one is MPX and the last one is SDX. VPX is a virtual appliance. MPX is physical for high performance. MPX is for high performance. When multiple gigs of traffic we have, then we use MPX. It's a physical box. And SDX uh, is come with physical with hypervisor. It's also physical, but it's come with different hypervisor. Mean on a hypervisor, mean on a SDX, I host uh, mean two or more VPX on that. To get mean we can also load balance that on SDX. I mean there is multiple running of VPX on it. So I hope you get my point and uh, you get all the uh, information that you need to know about CTX load balancer. So I hope you get. So if you like the video then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share that. Thank you. Take care.